Hey there, and thanks for watching. Over the next few minutes, I'm gonna walk you through our Real Estate Financial Models Download Guide. Now, if you've been following ACRE for any period of time, you know that Michael and I, since 2014, have been sharing real estate financial models, modules, tools, Excel files that we create and we have in our own personal library. And we just share that openly with the world. And it's a great resource. 70 plus models have hit our library. The challenge for many of you is it can be a bit overwhelming. You have a specific use case and you say, which Excel file, which model, which module, which tool should I download for my scenario? And so Alex on our team has put together this guide that's really helpful and it organizes uh, the, the main models or modules or, or tools within our library by a variety of categories. And so if you're watching this video, either you're on YouTube, you can find a link down below to the guide or you're on the adventuresincre.com website, you'll see again down below a button that says view the guide. And once you click that, it's gonna take you to a Google Sheet. It's a Google Sheet that we created that will continually update and that we have made available to anyone who has the link. And so what you're seeing on my screen right now is that guide, that Google Sheet. And I'm just gonna orientate you a bit to how to use the guide for your specific purpose. So uh, the first thing you'll do when you arrive here is you're gonna see likely something that looks like this. Now keep in mind if someone else is in the guide uh, you'll see in real time what someone else is doing with the guide. Now, you can't edit, delete, change, but you can uh, view the guide in different ways, and so you might you might bump into that. Uh, and, and so if for some reason that's happening, and you can always come up to the file menu and just go ahead and download the guide. You could download it to your own computer, and then uh, you can manipulate it however you want. Now, along the left-hand side in column B, you're gonna find the name of the file. And then in column C, the purpose. So not all of our models are standalone models. Some are modules. Modules are used for uh, a specific portion of a model where a standalone model is one that really will accomplish everything from your inputs through your calculation modules to your outputs. You'll also find what we refer to as tools. Uh, and really the distinction between say a tool versus a module or a model is a tool doesn't specifically value or, or uh, calculate the returns of a real estate property, but instead perform some other task. So the 1031 exchange tool, for instance, is a chance just to kind of analyze a 1031 scenario. Whereas a module, say our three-tiered debt module, uh, is really a component of a full standalone real estate financial model. And you might use that in place of, say, your own module or to augment a standalone model that you find on Adventures in CRE. Now, the next section is property type. So you might, for instance, be looking for an apartment model or module or tool. So you'll come here to apartments, and I'm just going to toggle this to just yes. That way we're only looking at the tools that are specific to apartments. Uh, you'll see now some of them might be specific to multiple property types. Uh, and so I could, for instance, toggle all of these to no, and that way I only get things that are specific to apartments. Let's get rid of the single family as well. Hotel. Okay. So now I'm only looking at, what is this? Uh, six tools that are specific to apartments and nothing else. Uh, let me just unfilter that. I'm gonna go ahead and look at all models again. And you know if something's filtered because it gives you that little filtered symbol. And as soon as you do that, you see that it's filtering for retail. So you might arrive here and, and it's someone else has filtered and you can unfilter just simply by toggling to what you want, like so. So next we move to analysis type. So again, let's let's come back here and let's only look for tools that can work with apartments. And I'll leave these others uh, available to, to analyze, but let's say I'm specific to development. So I'm just gonna come to the dev column and toggle that to yes. So now I'm only looking at tools that relate to apartment development. And uh, 
in fact, let's say that I, I don't want a module or a tool. I want a standalone model that will be specific to apartment development. And now here I have a handful of tools in, and we're going to be constantly updating this. I already identified a, a few uh, elements that need to be updated, and I'll do that here after this video. But now I've, I've toggled this down further. And then finally, let's say, okay, I want specific features within this model. So it has to have an equity waterfall uh, and that's it. So I, I need an apartment development model and I need to make sure that it not only analyzes the project level returns, but also the partnership level ret returns and it has this equity waterfall. And now I have you know these handful of models and I can come out here to the right and now it has a link for me. So let's click on this link, apartment development model, and now it's gonna open up the model that this guide has identified as being a fit for my scenario. I come down, I can learn about the model, and ultimately either look at some of the tutor tutorials for the model or click the proceed to download. Now, in addition to the models guide, there's also a tutorials guide. So if you click the tutorials tab down here below in, in our uh, real estate financial models download guide workbook, here you're gonna find files that are specific to tutorials that we've done over the years. And the sorting is very similar. You've got a purpose, either a tutorial or in some cases, case studies. And now here to the right, whether it's a property tie, purpose of analysis, features, we have a notes section in case there are specific notes to call out and then links to those files. And so likewise, you can sort by say you're, you're coming to learn rather than to use a specific model. And you can use this tutorials guide to uh, determine what's the right tutorial for your situation. So with that, that's our real estate financial models download guide. Let us know if you have any questions. Otherwise, thanks for your time.